subscribers. Uh, today we're going to show you how to test the voltage in a dryer outlet using a multimeter. Now this is an analog multimeter. You can also use a digital, uh, but I'm old school. Um, you got to make sure your dial set to the right uh, voltage. So in this case a washer or a dryer outlet measures roughly around 240 volts uh, over 120 volts so uh, you're gonna have to put it to probably 250 volts make sure it's on the AC side there's also a DC side the AC side you'll see a V with a little squiggly line which is AC okay uh, make sure your, your pins and cords are plugged in properly your black ones first your red ones second uh, unplug your dryer here it's a typical dryer unit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the the ground first. We're gonna plug our our red one in the uh, the one at the bottom, which is shaped like a, a right angle, like a corner of a square. Come on in a little closer. Okay. Put this one on the side, the black one. Wiggle it around. Can you hold that? Uh, here, get a get a picture of that. So you can see it's right there in the middle of 100 and 150. So that's 120, 125, which is right where it needs to be. Okay. We're also going to test it this way. Just these two right here. Okay. Wiggle those around a little bit until you see that dial move. It helps if you have deep pins. These aren't deep. So get a picture of that right there. So you can see it's all the way at the very end since I'm on 250 volts. It's at the very end so it's roughly about 245, 250 volts which is right where it needs to be. So if you're having problems with your dryer uh, and you've tested the wall outlet you can, it's safe to assume that the problem is not the outlet. Uh, so you'll have to do the same testing with the multimeter on the actual unit itself with the wiring and the core, uh, which we'll have you know, to uh, remove the back here and, and we'll save that for another video. But uh, that's it, it's pretty simple. You can use the same logic in testing any AC wall outlet. Um, in that case, you would want to probably keep it at 250 again, but that should be at 120, 125 volts for a typical AC wall outlet. 